Howdy all, and welcome to Fish Web's On the Water Review, brought to you by Maple Bay Marine, Northern Michigan's Lund Boat Headquarters, any season, any reason, and by Burt Lake Marina, serving Northern Michigan with award-winning service since 1969. Although the Tequamanon River is over 89 miles long, only the lower section from the mouth to just before the lower falls is power boat accessible. The first section, from the mouth in Whitefish Bay to the River Mouth State Park, is an area worth fishing, especially early in the season for walleye. The lower river also holds good numbers of pike, muskie, bass, and steelhead deer in the proper season. Running electric, John worked the banks with topwater spinners as I dragged crawler harnesses and bottom bouncers behind the boat. I managed some small walleye on the crawlers, and John did pick up some small pike, but nothing to write home about. We did have one very nice muskie follow John's spinner to the boat, but it never hit. As we passed by the campground, the campers were just starting to stir, as was the local wildlife. Once past the park, we reeled in and powered up the river. As we headed upstream, we stopped a few times when passing by some of the small streams that run out into the river. It's always worth a cast in these feeding areas, but biting or not, it's a beautiful ride along the way. The dark water is caused from the roots of the tamarack pines leaching color into the water, and it makes for some great reflections. We reached the end of the road for power boats just before the lower Tequamanon Falls. Here the river opens up into a large shallow pond with lots of weed cover and sunken logs. We stayed here for a while soaking in the sun and tossing some lures around. On the north bank lies the state park with access to the river. It's a favorite for paddlers, which is about the only way to get upstream from here. Both sides of the river flowing around a small island become way too shallow for much else. After about an hour or so of no luck, we reeled in and headed back downstream.
On our way back downstream, we stop for lunch on the banks across from the Rivermouth State Park. It's a beautiful campground with sights along the shore and easy access to the river. From here, you're only a few hundred yards from Whitefish Bay as the crow flies, but about a mile or so as the river flows. We reach the end of our journey where it began, back at the Rivermouth boat launch. Run by the DNR, it has a nice concrete ramp with loading dock and ample parking for your rigs. Here you'll also find a nice park with waterfront benches, grills, and a great view. Till next time, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you on the water.